first of all, Jamal, welcome. Uh, nice to meet you. But it, just give us both of your reactions to when you found out that Jamal would be joining the Red Team's organization. Jamal, you can go first. Oh, I was just, uh, I was excited. Like it's, you don't get that text too often. So when I found out, I was wow. Jamal, what about you? For me, I was uh, I was actually sleeping getting ready to play my first game since uh, last year. And uh, I just woke up to a bunch of texts. I thought maybe I slept in and I, I saw, I think the first thing I saw was like a tweet with the octopus and I, I didn't know what that meant. And I clicked it and I saw it and I was, I didn't believe it at first. And honestly, like it was, it's great, great opportunity for me. And I'm excited on, and to play with him alongside of him is definitely an opportunity that doesn't come by as often. So. And how much have you been able to kind of follow what the Red Wings have been doing this season? Obviously, it's been an exciting year so far. A decent amount because I obviously yeah. uh, try to keep up with what he's doing. So I was able to uh, track it a bit. And uh, just how are you feeling? I know you said you were preparing for your first game. So how are you feeling health wise? I'm excited. I mean, uh, obviously, it's been a long time coming. I'm excited to be here. Uh, I don't know if many know this, but he knows like growing up, Detroit Red Wings has always been my favorite team. So to to get to be here with him and uh, there's no better feeling. You're welcome. We're excited to have you. Thank you. Next, we're going to answer Khan. Yeah, Jamel. Uh, just uh, what was your uh, your family's reaction when they found out the news? Uh, they're obviously excited for me. Uh, my family's very very calm. They don't really show excitement as as many do, but uh, they're definitely excited for me. And uh, I talked to my mom and my dad, and they. Uh, they're glad that we're here to be together and kind of experience uh, this together. So it's, uh, they're definitely excited for us. And uh, have you, have you guys ever played together uh, on a team in youth hockey or at any time? Uh, no, I've never played together or never played against them ever. So this is the first time we're ever going to be on a team together. And Jamel, uh, just w what do you think that's going to be like uh, uh, playing with your brother, uh, being on the ice with them as teammates uh, and may, perhaps even on the same line? I think it'll be good. I'll be able to uh, take the experience that I had. Obviously, I was at the Lightning when uh, they won the two Stanley Cups. So, obviously, it's uh, I'm able to share the kind of things that I experienced with him and kind of guide him along the process as much as possible, as well as him push me as well. Thanks. Wayne St. James? Jamal, just so I have this right. So you found out on, on Twitter before seeing a text or how did that come down? Yeah, just because that was the first message that I, I seen when I looked at my phone on the notification lock screen. So I just seen the octopus and then I seen a bunch of missed texts and kind of just started looking and looking. And I just saw um, our, our GM call me, uh, call me and text me at the time. And then I found out thoroughly through that way. Okay. And then what you got on a plane to Detroit and... Uh, I know I was actually supposed to play my first game in Rochester yeah. and uh, I, I was uh, going to head there and then I got the news like maybe two hours before. So I just drove to Rochester, picked my bag and just drove straight to Detroit. Okay. And Giovanni, did you, uh, have you, are you, is he rooming with you? Uh, did you offer a place to stay or what's the situation there? Uh, no, he's not rooming with me. We used to have bunk beds growing up, so I don't want that anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, he's uh, he's old enough, so he's probably gonna stay on his own. Okay, who got the top bunk bed when you were? <laughs> okay, and uh, either one of you, um, are you able to have any family here tonight? Or probably not because of uh, the pandemic, or yeah, probably not, just because it's too much of a hassle. No, obviously. My mom's a nurse who didn't want to get vaccinated uh, for her own reasons, so that would that'd be tough for my dad. Uh, he had a bad break with COVID, so I don't think he uh, is going to want to risk that too often. So, Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Max Baldwin. Hey, Giovanni, you mentioned getting a text. Was that from Jamal or was that from Steve or, or someone with the wings? Um, it was uh, Kim. Kim was calling me, and I found out. And then I texted him, and it was just like, just uh, exciting news. And he was asleep, so he probably didn't reply right away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, for both of you, what, what do you think each other's best uh, quality is on the ice and off the ice? Uh, for me, I know I'm a, I'm a fast player. Uh, I like to play with skill. I'm a puck possession type player, so I like to keep the puck on my stick and play with it. And I'd say that's my uh, best ability, the ability to keep, keep the puck and play with it and 
and my speed and my tenacity. Sorry, I meant the, each other's. Like, so you. Oh, <laughs> oh, I think he's he's uh he's he's a power power forward, uh, big, strong, can uh, get in guys' face, can uh, uh, take the heart to the net. He's got a good shot, and yeah, yeah. My brother, he's a uh, he's a fast player, uh, very skilled, and uh, he's a good uh, playmaker too. I like to shoot the puck, so you'll see uh, you'll see what he can do eventually. And then Jamel, you said you were a Red Wings fan growing up. How did that come? I think you guys are from Metro Toronto, right? How did that come to be? It just we all had uh, favorite teams growing up, even if it was through video games or jerseys. And uh, my favorite player was always Sergey Fedorov. So I had a Fedorov jersey, and my favorite goalie was Dominic Hasek. So it was just something that I, uh, a team that I just first loved since I was like three years old, and I just always stuck with them. Thanks, guys. Bob Duff. Giovanni, uh, Coach Blaschel was saying yesterday that you uh, lobbied him when it was last season to call Coach Cooper and convince him that he should play Jamal in the game against you guys. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. But, uh, what, what was your reaction when you first uh, found out this? I mean, this is better, obviously, than playing against him. Yeah. Um, well, we, we play a lot together in the summertime. We train together. So we're always together, like, on the ice and off the ice. So now it's like we're together playing hockey, like for real now. It's, it's just crazy. It's insane. I don't know if anybody's told you this, but it, there hasn't been a brother act play for the Red Wings since 1969. So you guys are going to end a 53-year drought here. Yeah, that's, that's great news. It's awesome. Obviously, it's exciting news. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Those are all the questions we had this morning. Thanks everyone for joining us.